Hey everyone, it's uh, Frigid here, and I'm coming to you with some Splinter Cell news. Apparently, this has just been published published today, uh, the 19th of October, by uh, Matt Perslow. Ubisoft reportedly developing new Splinter Cell game. This is from IGN, the obviously most trusted gaming news source. But uh, apparently, according to some development sources and some... Ooh, development sources, yes, in quotation marks. So a report from the Video Game Chronicle says, claims that there will be a new Splinter Cell soon, as it is an early phase of production, with a small chance of the game being announced in 2022. The project has apparently been greenlit as a part of an effort to appease frustrated Tom Clancy and Splinter Cell fans who have been less than happy with the Ubisoft's treatment of the brand over the past decade. Oh yes, we have been definitely less than happy. <laughs> that is an understatement. <laughs> I'm pretty sure people have been, you know, very frustrated with how, well, how Ubisoft as a company has gone. I'm sure there's plenty of people who are tired of Ubisoft churning out the exact same game every single year with, you know, sequel after sequel with very little detail, or not not detail, very little changes as other than, you know, cosmetics and guns and blah 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 blah. I'm looking at you Ghost Recon Division, Far Cry anyways um, no further details were provided in the report aside from the suggestion that the new Splinter Cell will be developed by Montreal, Ubisoft's Montreal studio. Well, that's good. They developed Chaos Theory, but they also developed Conviction, so we will see how that goes. But hopefully, hopefully there's, I mean, there's probably very little people in Montreal who worked on Chaos Theory, so there might be a few left from Conviction, so I imagine we'll be seeing much of the same mark and execute stuff from conviction so obviously we might not go completely back to full stealth i don't think so not with ubisoft at this point but uh blah 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 article goes on to say how sam's have appeared in other other games which very few people yeah have frustrated fans and made it seem that slimmer cell was never going to happen again yeah i'm pretty sure people definitely felt that way <laughs> Uh, yeah, and of course, the VR game that was announced in 2020 for the Oculus VR, which I do not give two craps about because I'm not spending $500 on a VR headset to play one darn game, which will be first person, mind you. So, first person, and is a traditional third person linear stealth game. Eh, they might make it work. They might not make it work. Uh, I doubt there'd be online multiplayer with a VR game. But uh, that's beside the point. So, diehard Tom Clancy fans have been vocal about their dislike of Ubisoft's direction of the brand with classic blah 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 Ghost Recon evolving into whatever. And Rainbow Six Siege being, you know, Rainbow Six Siege. It's, it's gone down. Ubisoft has made some poor decisions regarding siege but i'm not a siege person so you'd have to ask the siege community now they did link the report from the uh video game chronicles and it reads here this is also published the 19th of october a decade later ubisoft has finally greenlit a new splinter cell sources claim so obviously we're gonna have to take this with a grain of salt because uh, because I I would hardly trust any news outlet with claims and sources until I'm watching E3 and being disappointed again, <laughs> but then being surprised when Splinter Cell randomly shows up, you know, in 2020, 31 or whatever, you know. Um, this article goes on. Let's see. Ubisoft has greenlit what will be its first mainline Splinter Cell game in a decade. No. Eight years. Not quite a decade. I know it's easier to write a decade, but it's eight years. But close enough. 
That's according to development sources who told us that the title has been put into production as a means of winning back fans frustrated by the recent efforts to revive the franchise in the mobile and VR spaces. Yeah, see, here's when you went wrong, Ubisoft. You went to mobile and VR when you've been producing Splinter Cell games on consoles. The majority of the gaming, you know, community does not consider mobile games to be, you know, games, quote unquote. And VR is so fresh that a lot of people have ignored it. Or, you know, a lot of people have embraced it. But a lot of people have also ignored it because money, yada, yada, whatever. Computers. So, wrong target demographic, Ubisoft. Uh, that's definitely not good. Uh, blah, blah, blah. It's not clear which studio is working on the project. But it might be led by Montreal base. Okay, so again, Montreal's up in the air title no one cares i don't care about the title name it'll always be changed um this much requested sequel will arrive at a time when the company is looking to rebuild its image following a wave of discrimination and oof harassment allegations employee groups say they are not satisfied with the level of action taken by ubisoft to change its culture yeah see here's the other thing about ubisoft Ubisoft has a ton of skeletons in their closet. And, uh, yeah, its work culture is not good right now. It's, yeah, it's not good. Yeah, I, I hate to say it, that it, I hate to see such, you know, behavior coming from Ubisoft staff, especially Ubisoft, like, higher-ups. Like, a lot of Ubisoft higher-ups have been accused of allegations regarding oof harassment and all of that stuff. Ubisoft declined to comment when approached to head of publication. Well, yeah, of course. They don't want to promise anything. Blah, 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 history, blah, 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 history, blah, 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 UVR. In recent years, Assassin's Creed publisher has suggested it's been considering bringing back... Did they really just call Ubisoft the Assassin's Creed publisher? Ouch. You, you know your company's gone down the toilet when you've been referred to as the Assassin's Creed publisher. <laughs> That's all Ubisoft is now. The open world RPG Assassin's Creed publisher. Oh. Producing mediocre to good at best video games since 2016. Uh, yeah. Blah, blah, last year, not last year, this is a few years ago. This is 2018, 2019 that Yves said Splinter Cell needs to evolve. And then it just goes into the quotes or whatever. You need to bring something new or different than before, yada, yada, yada. Not necessarily, I would say. I mean, sure, you definitely need to have tweaks and reworks. But, I mean, the problem with Chaos Theory is that they perfected infiltration stealth with Chaos Theory. And where do you go from literal perfection? There's not much that you can do to improve other than quality of life and new levels and stuff like that. But the problem is, I mean, in one sense, I'm thankful because if they had kept, I mean, it would have been hard to, but if they had tried to keep up that level of perfection with Chaos 3 for the next three games, eventually the next three games would probably eventually be considered inferior anyways even if they were the exact same game because it just gets repeated and then they would splinter cell could have been became just like assassin's creed far cry or any other open world ubisoft title which is just you know the same thing slapped together with a slightly different coat of paint but it's the same game with the same mechanics at the core so we could have actually splinter cell could have been done pretty dirty if if it was produced nowadays, which is the other concern, but we won't get into that. Last time, we had a lot of fans pressuring us, do this, don't do that, yada, 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 stressing out the teams. Yeah, obviously, fan backlash is definitely a worry. Executives also say a key factor in the wait for new Splinter Cell, Splinter Cell series, I can't talk, has been the success of other Ubisoft franchises like Assassin's Creed, and Watch Dogs and The Division. To finish off, not only have these sold relatively well, but developers have been keen to work on fresher properties, blah, 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 blah. 
And then one last quote from Yves. Because of AC and all the other brands taking off, people will want to work on those brands. I assume some of more. So we'll have people follow what they like to do. Okay, so that's, that's more or less positive. So it seems like we could be getting Splinter Cell back fairly soon. Uh, I know UB, the IGN said 2022 is a possibility. No, excuse me. I wouldn't count on it. I would expect this Splinter Cell, if it actually is being produced, I would expect an announcement uh 2023 or later um i'm honestly i'm honestly a little splinter sold out <laughs> as far as blacklist goes so i mean and with modern day ubisoft anyways i'm not super excited to be honest which is kind of weird coming from a guy who is making videos for an exclusively splinter cell channel <laughs> but uh <laughs> Yeah, hopefully, I want to I wanna wait and see, obviously, because if Ubisoft, like, doesn't, you know, doesn't produce the Splinter Cell that we, the fans, want, and by we, the fans, I mean the fan fans, I'm not talking about the wider, the wider gaming market, because we were, we're talking about the Splinter Cell fans, but the problem is now that Splinter Cell has... A bunch of different fans, thanks to Conviction Blacklist. Everyone wants this or that, and yada, yada, yada. And I don't know how Ubisoft is going to handle balancing all that. But, yeah. I'm, I'm kind of worried that Ubisoft will make it like their other games. Like, we're getting open world. We're getting microtransactions. We're getting, like, perks and skill trees. We're getting, like, upgrades. Blah, blah, blah. Uh no, I won't even bother with it. Even if it has, mul even if, well, it won't have Spies vs. Marks. Maybe, maybe it will. Maybe it won't. If it goes open world. Maybe you can somehow separate, keep it on Paladin. Maybe you can keep it on Paladin, like Mother Base with MSG5. Make Paladin like Mother Base. Yeah, you could do that, but I wouldn't want that. I wouldn't want Ubisoft to make it, I wouldn't want Ubisoft to make a Splinter Cell game. Like they've made their recent games. That's the problem. And that's the problem that a lot of people have with modern day Ubisoft. Is that modern day Ubisoft games are passable at best. Some are good. Again, I haven't played a lot of Ubisoft's recent titles. Because I have no interest in them whatsoever. Which is, I can't say is a good thing or a bad thing. It, it honestly doesn't make me as hyped as I know Lobster and some of the other guys are definitely going to be. Uh, I know Lobster was like, you know, on this this morning <laughs> when I was at work cause, and whatnot. And I was like, hey, news. It's like, you know. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, we could get a new Splinter Cell soon. Hey, you know, I'm optimistic. I want Ubisoft to succeed here. I want Splinter Cell to succeed. I would love to see, you know, Splinter Cell come back. I'd love to see Sam. I want to see Michael Ironside back. If Michael Ironside is in the new Sam Fisher game, Sam Fisher game, wow. I can't speak. I am tired, <laughs> even though it's like quarter to eight. If Michael Ironside does not voice Fisher in the next Splinter Cell, forget it. Like, that's my personal opinion. Maybe I'll give it a chance. Maybe. If they brought back Eric Johnson. Maybe. But... I don't know. I will really want to hear Michael Ironside again. Oh, uh, he just he just does Sam so well. And you know that's like ninety percent of the player base's opinion. In. So I'm just I'm a broken record at this point. So yeah, uh, that's it. That's kind of the news. We might be getting smarter so soon enough. Oh. Well, Hope you enjoyed my ramblings. If you want to tell me what you guys think, go ahead. If not, um, no, nah, just have a good one. Frigid, signing off.